Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Space Quest 1, the Serian encounter for more point and click or text parser adventure game action. We are back where we left off. Um, we are trying to use this little console thing here after speaking to what turns out as a dead person here. Uh, we were given a term astral body and I think we've got to use that on this. Uh, but last time I was struggling to really get this thing working and you guys left me comments saying that I was being pretty stupid because I'd actually already used it and the word that we wanted to use apparently is screen and I looked back and I did indeed say about a screen so I don't know what I was doing I was probably probably panicking because of this self-destruct sequence thing um, so we're going to try and do that in this episode but I'm going to load up first because I've talked and we're up against that self-destruct timer so I'm going to try to do this get back and do what we've got to do next before the self-destruct whether or not that will work i don't know we might have to start again and sort of blitz our way through it to get back to this point in better time so let's see what we can do so we're back here now so let's look at screen there we go right <coughs> uh storage retrieval system select a cartridge enter the title below press enter to quit uh okay so we wanted astral body searching title found retrieving excellent Okay, it's doing something. <clears throat> Do we need to wait for it to come back? Because we're up against the timer here, weird little droid thing. Is it a droid? I, I think it's some sort of machine, actually, isn't it, rather than a droid. Uh, okay, it's back. Did it get cartridge? Done. Okay, excellent. So we've got the cartridge now. So let's save... Uh, we've got a cart a cartridge, so we'll do this. <clears throat> now we're going to have to have a mad dash back to see if we can get there before this self-destruct thing happens. And I honestly don't know if we can. I don't know if we've just not got enough time to do it. Oh god, footsteps. Oh, we might die here. We might die if we can't get out of this screen quick enough. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, we made it. Excellent. Okay, so our score is 12 out of 202 now, so we've got quite a bit of a boost to the score for that. Okay, we haven't got time to hang around, so if we hear footsteps, we're just going to have to make a bit of a mad dash for it and hope we can get away, because I don't think hiding is going to help us out at all with, with this self-destruct thing going on. We might not even have enough time to do... I should have come this way, shouldn't I? <clears throat> Alright, we'll have to remember that. If we have to load because we run out of time, we'll have to go left out of the room and then down this because we've sort of done the backwards loop thing and probably wasted a bunch of time doing this. <laughs> God, this game is so stressful. Uh, hang on. Do we need to go down here? We do. Oh, I've really screwed it up. Okay, so we need to go out to the left, down, and then into the elevator. That's what we'll remember. We might might have screwed this run up. I honestly don't know. But we've got this cartridge thing now, which I think is probably what we wanted to get. I'm guessing that's what S. Thomas was hinting at when... when um, <coughs> Brilliant. Ah, it's going to be tight, isn't it? It's going to be very tight. I'm really hoping we don't have to, to load up <coughs> and start all over again. <laughs> we might have to... I mean, I don't know if to just start the game all over again. <clears throat> if we do have to. It's a shame there's no run button. I mean, you'd think you would run if you're on a ship in this situation, but then again, apparently Roger Wilco isn't the smartest guy, so, you know, never mind. Right, no footsteps, please. We're on our way through here. We're going to get back. We're not going to self-destruct. We're going to have enough time to do it. We should be fine, hopefully. <laughs> Yeah, what will probably happen is we'll probably get right to where we need to and then it will self-destruct. Okay, we think we hear footsteps, but we're not hanging around for any footsteps. Get in the lift. Okay. Oh, God, more footsteps. Oh, no. We could be in trouble here. We're in big trouble. <laughs> we're in big trouble. <laughs> ah, we're in big trouble indeed. Right. Let's load up. Hopefully this isn't going to keep happening. <laughs> We're really up against it here, guys. We are really up against it. Right, out we go. Come on, Turian Shepherd slash Roger Wilco. You can do it. You can do it. I think the footsteps are sort of randomly encountered. Uh, yeah, randomly encountered, aren't they? They're not 
scripted in, so I don't think they will happen on the same screens. I think it's completely random, which is good news for us, hopefully. I say that, but hopefully we can do it. Um, <clears throat> right. In we go. Yeah, see, we didn't get footsteps in this one this time. Hopefully we don't... Oh, don't get caught on the wall. Come on. Go, 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 go. Go. Run. <laughs> Run. Right, okay. I mean, do we save? That's the question. Do we... Do you know what? Let's risk making... Uh, possible success. I mean, hope, I hope saving doesn't actually use up time. So we need to get down into there before it all blows up, I'm guessing, and then use that panel. I, I don't know if we use the cartridge on it. I don't I don't really know. But we need to get, get through here. And we need to get through here quick. Because we can't have too much time left, I wouldn't have thought. I mean, if this doesn't work, <laughs> oh, I think we're going to have to start again, guys. I think we're going to have to start again. Why? All right, well, do you know what? Let's um restart the game. We'll restart the game. Uh, yeah, we'll start off by the thing. So we're just going to... We're going to see if we can get the key card... We'll see if this thing happens again. I mean, I might leave this in. I might cut it out. I honestly don't know. I think seeing as we're so near the beginning of the game, I might leave it in. But we'll sort of just see what happens, I guess. Uh, where is the key card again? I've actually forgotten where it is. I think it's to the left here, isn't it? Is it to the left here? Yeah. Okay. So we want to search this body. So, uh, get key card. Take the key card. All right. So let's save here, and we'll save it after. We'll save it over possible success. Uh, possible key card. <laughs> right. So we'll head off. We've got that. If we head back through now, is that gonna happen again, where this random body comes in here, or is it not? That's gonna be the, the question, really, for this, isn't it? Uh, it doesn't seem to be happening, but maybe if we walk through to the right, those guards will come by and it will trigger it. I don't know if we actually have to get the flight suit and things first. We might need to. We might need to get the flight suit and things first. No, okay. It's here. Okay, so look at body. Okay, large laser. I wonder if the, um talk to body oh no okay that was right he tells you the arcada is under attack and that the star generator is in danger you better leave if you value your life he looks over towards the shelves full of cartridges and that is the words astral body right okay so it's still the same he then settles to the floor lifeless so let's use this again so look at screen okay astral body searching title found retrieving Right, you go and retrieve that, buddy. Hopefully none of those aliens come in here and shoot me while I'm doing this. <laughs> It'll get the little cartridge. We'll get the cartridge and then we'll head off. So we can do it this way, which is good. Um, also, I've been told to use get instead of pick up because it's easier to type in. So get cartridge. Done. Okay, so let's save that as um, possible cartridge. I mean, to be honest, we might have to save over those old saves anyway now because we're on a bit of a roll. And hopefully we'll be able to... Ah, so those guys are walking past now. So I don't know if that's a timed event. That only seems to happen in this corridor, which is interesting. We'll have to remember that. Uh, have we gone the wrong way? I don't think we have. I think we should be all right. So we just need to get to that room with the flight suit now. We've got to use the key card. 
pick up the flight suit, pick up the gadget thing, and then go through. And then I think we should be back to where. We, oh, I think we should then be back to where we were. Okay. I kind of want to. No, I, I want to hide in here. Okay, we think we hear footsteps. Dude, if you could show up quicker because we're on, up against the time limit here. Okay, you think you hear footsteps. I don't see any footsteps, so I'm going. Um, that could have been a mistake. I don't know. Right, anyway. Let's go on. Oh, God, okay. We might die here. That might have been a mistake. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, okay. It's infuriating, isn't it? I mean, I actually like that the game is like this. It it actually kind of amuses me. At the moment, it hasn't got to the point where it just really angers me. <laughs> because it's actually kind of funny, the way that it's done. I mean, it just gives you no warning, really. I mean, you get the footsteps, but it's not really a proper warning, is it? But yeah, it just... It's so unforgiving. It is so, so unforgiving. It really is. But never mind. Uh, we'll head on. We don't need to go into that room there, do we? Because there's actually nothing in there. So let's go this way. We'll go down the elevator. No footsteps in here, please, game. Don't do it to me. No, 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 no. Hide. Oh, jeez, that was close. Oh, that was so close. I think I just about got in there. Very lucky. Okay. Well, he left, so we'll head on. We will head on through this room. I think we should probably save in here just in case we encounter a guy next door. So let's, let's save over this then and call it um, Flashing Lights. So we'll save over slot one because, you know, at the end of the day, we don't need those early slots now because, well, they were pretty much a dead end because of the self-destruct that the game doesn't tell you about. <laughs> it just springs it upon you if you take too long. <laughs> no footsteps here, please, game. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, I think we're all right. Use key card. You slide the key card into its slot. You hear an audible click. You take the key card back. Good, right. Don't don't shoot the aliens. Come on. Okay, so we're back in here now. So let's uh do you know what? Let's save again. <laughs> I'm getting paranoid. Uh we'll call it airlock. And then we'll use the right switch. Uh press right button. Uh we'll get flight suit okay we've changed into that uh press left button uh get device there is nothing here get gadget okay so we've got the gadget uh let's come down here we'll press this button we won't get stuck on that little wall again we will get stuck on that little wall again. <laughs> okay. Right. So there was a button on here, wasn't there, that we, we had to push. Push. Push button. Uh, push. Was it airlock button? Yeah, there we go. So let's head through. Uh, we might have to save again before we go through. What do we reckon? Do we save before we go through? I think maybe we do. Yeah, let's do it. I don't want to go in there and find that something's changed. And that we're... Right, let's just save over this and call it airlock open. Uh, I don't want to go in here and find that something's changed and now we've got this situation. Right, look, look at panel. At panel. Looking at the console, you see a button marked platform. There are also some gauges. Right, push platform button. 
For safety reasons, the platform will not function with the bay doors closed. Uh, open bay doors. Doesn't seem to be the correct. Uh, push bay doors. Does not compute. So how do we open the bay doors then? Did we miss something? Open bay door. Doesn't seem the right action. Uh, maybe we do it from in the other room? Like the previous room? Could that be the case? Or does this only... Wait, hang on. Bay doors are closed. Bay door... Right, okay. So maybe we can do it down here on this thing. Because there is a message in here. So maybe we can open the bay doors from here. So let's try it. Open bay doors. Push bay doors button. Push button. Look at button. See one button marked airlock. Right, so well, that closed the airlock there. Open airlock. Hmm? Push airlock button. Oh, I wonder if it's... I wonder if we have to close the airlock on the other side. I wonder if there's an airlock button on that panel and we have to close the airlock because obviously that would mean this room would be like exposed to atmosphere, wouldn't it? If we just opened what I assume is the doors off of the ship. Look at panel. Looking at the console, you see a button mark platform. There are also some gauges. Uh, push gauges. Okay. Uh, push button. For safety reasons, the button, the platform will not function with the bay doors closed. How do we open the bay doors, though? Uh, close airlock. Push airlock button hmm okay so we need to find a way of opening up I'm guessing those doors at the back um, push bay door button open what look at panel platform raise platform is that a thing I don't understand raise lift platform no so it's going to be push the platform button but for safety reasons the platform will not function with the bay doors closed okay so let's save the game uh and we'll call it vehicle bay And then that's where we'll leave it for this episode. So as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click on that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're new or just haven't already done so. And I'll see you all next time.